As early as September of 1961, religious leaders have been partners of the Registry of Marriages, or ROM, facilitating couples who wish to combine their civil marriage solemnizations with their religious ceremonies. Today, such partnerships have grown to include Justices of Peace, Grassroots, and other community leaders. I really love to see happy and reading couples coming to ROM to collect their marriage certificate so that licensed solemnizers can marry them. Increasingly, couples want to customise, personalise their wedding celebration. They want to hold a solemnization at external venues, interesting places or places that hold special meaning for them. And now they can do it. This is made possible as our licensed solemnizers are prepared to volunteer their personal time and go the extra mile to solemnize these marriages, making it a memorable celebration for the couples. As the Registrar of Marriages, it is my privilege to partner this license solemnizers. My journey started when I was conferred the Justice of the Peace. It was really a great honour. And that was 2003. I can't imagine I'm walking so long this journey. And by default, I become a solemnizer because I can sign documents. So that has been my journey thus far. These partners volunteer their services as Deputy Registrars of Marriages, come licensed solemnizers, and are appointed in these roles by a minister under the provision of the Women's Charter to solemnize marriages within Singapore. I think in the old days, the marriages used to be here, but there used to be an old house or bungalow then, and everyone did the marriages at the Registry of Marriages. It was very seldom, if at all, the case where people conducted marriages outside the bounds of ROM. So I think that that has been a dramatic change. Every year I, I conduct anything between 10 to 20 marriages. I think what are some more endearing ones that I come through is the ones where they actually share personal vows. So they are very, very different vows and, and then they go on to other vows, talk about uh, the commitment they have to one another and the promises that they make in front of everybody. Uh, some of them just share about their love for each other. So to hear the personal ones gives us insight into the couple's uh, love for each other and the future it holds for each other. It's been a very interesting journey for me. Through the close partnerships of our licensed solemnizers, Marriage solemnizations in the community has risen significantly from 16% in 2002 to 77% in 2012. Some licensed solemnizers have also stepped up as counsellors and mentors to these couples and are strong advocates of marriage and family. I meet my couple when they co call me for solemnization service. I meet them, I have a chat with them, I give them my two cents worth for counsel, what is marriage all about, and then go into the housekeeping of uh, conducting this solemnization outside our OM. I think we have to remember that a wedding is not a marriage, a wedding is just a ceremony, but a marriage is something more than that, in fact, a lot more than that. Therefore, I, I spend a fair bit of time with them and I meet with them weeks or months before the wedding to talk to them about what a marriage really is or should be. At the beginning, um, when we were co corresponding with him through the phone and through email, he's actually very professional and he guided us on you know, things to prepare, things to look out for, which we really, really appreciated. Lah. And also, uh, he was very clear when he was uh, sharing with us, okay, what needs to be done. And um, the whole ceremony went on very smoothly. And then I think our relatives and our friends were also very, very happy with the entire event. We were very happy that she came uh, much earlier than the actual event uh, to run through the procedure with us, you know, to, to do a rehearsal with us, what are the things we should say, uh, accept the yes, I do, that one really must come from us, not from not what uh, she taught us. We were very blessed with very nice weather on that wedding day. Uh, so blessed that uh, it was very hot and sunny. <laughs> yeah. So our, and the wedding solemnization is conducted uh, in the open lawn area uh, at the hotel. So you can imagine our guests is like perspiring under the hot sun. Uh, she conducted the ceremony in a very light-hearted way, and she managed to inject some humor in the whole process to make it so so uh, humorous and fun. 
for everyone. Actually, I found him on the internet uh, based on the district uh, which I'm living when I'm living in Singapore. So he lives in the same district, or rather, he's from the same district. That's how I picked him. So he was very professional. It was very well done. He seems very experienced in it, and he's on time, which is the most important. That's very good. Yeah. And before that, actually, he's the one who initiated the first meeting before yeah. the actual uh, process. So he ran through the whole process with us uh, prior to this, so we were very comfortable with him and he did a very good job actually. I'd like to thank our solemnizer for making our solemnization warm, personal and unforgettable. Thank you for taking effort for guiding us through the whole event. We would like to thank our solemnizer for being present on our special day and being part of our special moment and to officiate our solemnization ceremony. We would like to thank our solemnizer for making this such a wonderful a memorable event. Thank, Thank you, you Solomon. From all of us at our